It's 5 a.m. in Austin, Texas, and today I'm on another flight. I've been home for 24 hours, and in that 24 hours, I basically managed to do three loads of laundry, swimwear collection, launch our new Pacific Pear body wash, reply to 62 emails, went, picked up my little one, had a play date. If you're gonna get into this career, modeling, this whole industry, buy some eye drops, let me tell you right now, and learn how to sleep on flights. Biggest top tip. My hair's like half wet still. You will not believe leave when i get on set 8 a.m in la you will think i've slept a full 12 hours because i will just bring the energy and you know why i think that is because i don't drink caffeine i'd be telling people this everyone's always like oh you need a coffee oh do you drink coffee? no and i swear this is the secret obviously i feel tired and like i look tired right now but i can also really pull through like more than anyone else i will be the first person on the dance floor the last person off the dance floor so i know maybe that's my top tip for you all try a cup of caffeine see it might change your life also this morning shout out to britney spears i was born to make you happy be. I feel bad for Gen Z who didn't get to grow up in the Britney era of just belting out and saying, baby, ah. I highly recommend investing in a hairbrush and mirror and a Britney album because lifetime memories. And I found a decent parking space at the airport. So the morning's honestly like, it's going pretty well, not gonna lie. So yeah, off we go to LA. Let's go. This trip's gonna be really fun. I'm excited to take you with me. We have a thousand things that we got to do we're going straight to set we're going to do a photo shoot then tonight i have to actually figure out my outfit for tomorrow i'm winning an award an la style award for my work in the body advocacy inclusion space and with salt air brand tomorrow in the day i have a salt air event in italy delicious i'm gonna eat all the things so like two events tomorrow basically i feel like i have the salt air event outfit like done and i think you're gonna be obsessed with it i hope i can bend over and then friday honestly i have like potentially an access hollywood segment but also i never get my hopes up with stuff like that because live tv is a whole thing i'm gonna go to a showroom get some custom shoes hopefully as one of my girlfriends juliana who does saltaire's pr also does this beautiful shoe brands pr where they literally custom make a sandal for you like there and then with like leathers and metal so i'm really excited for that and then hopefully that might be it i may get my ass to vidcon but thinking about like the friday schedule and vidcon being 45 minutes in anaheim pretty unlikely but my team who's actually editing this video are going i want to be there with them we'll see i made it to the studio from the flight um i'll take you inside so you can have a look around everyone's in breakfast this is the set breakfast is so good look Gotta do wardrobe, try loads of things on. Cannot wait to see the inspo is kind of these five. finished our shoot it went really well we got so many different pictures i'll try and put some in here but now what's this called Roz? i'm here with Roz. Platform. platform never been here before it's absolutely beautiful look at all these little boutiques and shops and we're going to reformation to try and find me an outfit to wear for tomorrow night's red carpet situation it's so aesthetic and the weather is so nice and cool here you can actually walk outside and enjoy yourself at, oh my gosh there's an ice cream place maybe we have to have dinner here so we can eat ice cream here let's go into reformation a few dresses that I'm gonna try on. This blue is very pretty. It's got this nice silky texture. So I'm gonna try these on and hope that these work. Definitely need nipple pasties, but honestly, obviously with the, with the socks, right? But the back is really, really pretty. You can see the back. This is a solid option. The fabric's just so pretty. It's like this light sky blue, one of my favorite colors. I definitely like the light blue dress. A couple of the other ones didn't fit, but I really like this blazer to go over the dress. I think we're onto something. We were gonna take photos first. Got excited. That pizza was so good. 
I don't know about you, but the sweet chili, the honey situation on a pizza is like, it's everything. And we have the carbonara, also lovely. Maybe a little bit too heavy, a little bit too salty, a little bit too thick on the pasta, but still delicious, still ate it all. And then we went and got ice cream, which was so yummy. I checked into my hotel. I stay at this hotel a lot when I'm in LA. It's because I can walk to the Soltec offices. They have huge rooms. And I don't know, I just had really good luck lately. I feel like there's like a new energy in the air for me recently. People being so kind and sweet and supportive. And I checked in and they upgraded me. Bathroom. Nice big shower with a full on kitchen, dining table, oven, microwave, fridge, and a full huge living room with fireplace, TV. I got the sweetest note. Welcome back. Congrats on your recent collab. How thoughtful is that? And my favorite, a nice glass of milk. Actually, this wasn't a snack I stole. This is just like my favorite chocolate and a couple of oranges. I want to be in bed. The goal was to be in bed by 9 p.m. It's feeling pretty unrealistic because I need to shower, take a this make puff getting for Java. What a lovely day. Great shoot, hyper successful. We got to introduce Sam as our newest sister wives. We are the co-founders with our co-founder, Ben, who owns the center, which is a beauty incubator. We individual founders have our own brands and Ben works with us all. We're like the sister wives. Anywho, that was a great day. I'm ready to get some sleep. I'm gonna see you in the morning. I'm gonna film some content, some get ready with me content. And then I have a Solterra event. I'm so excited about this one because it's at Italy, which is, such a tasty restaurant. They have one in New York and LA. They probably have them all around the world now, potentially. Get a good night's sleep, maybe even 12 hours. Night night. Mwah. Good morning. You know what? I forgot to film myself doing my self tan contour, which I meant to do. Okay, the next thing is top travel tips. To save money and time when I travel, I bring breakfast with me. And I feel like there's two or three solid options. Just a bar person, like bring a breakfast bar with you, and then that will like tide you over and at least you You've just like eaten quickly in the morning something and then you can go out for lunch and dinner or whatever but me i need food i know if you've tried these this is not an ad for this brand but they are called muffin power cups it's like making a muffin in the microwave and i'm very lucky this hotel room has a microwave let's try and make this when i arrived at the hotel they asked me if i wanted a welcome drink and i told them actually i'd rather have a glass of milk and basically there's like a little line in here you probably won't be able to see it Oh gosh, basically you mix this. So you make sure everything, the wet and the dry ingredients are combined. Just stir it, stir it, stir it. My Virgo self couldn't leave the milk. Like a mess on the counter like that. So yeah, we're basically, we're all incorporated and now I'm gonna put it in the microwave for one minute. I really thought I'd feel less tired than this today. So this is the final muffin thing. You, it's weird though, maybe it's the microwave because like this half is cooked more and this half is like runny. Maybe the microwave wasn't spinning around. But honestly, the texture is usually really, really nice. Okay, big thing that's happening today is I'm getting one step closer to my dream bucket list of getting on Shark Tank. I always thought my goal was to like have my business, AKA Solter or self-funding, go on Shark Tank and like pitch my business. But you know what's crazy, what's happened? Solter has done so well i actually think i'm gonna be a shark on shark tank one day you can laugh at me all you want you can think you're miles off what are you talking about but i believe i'm gonna manifest it and the fact that i'm literally going to an event and getting an award at the same event that there's gonna be sharks at tonight i feel like i'm gonna swim on in there and be like hey this is my dream this is my goal i'm manifesting it by putting it out into the world remember you speak your literal words of vibrations that just go out into the world they're very powerful careful what you say and now i'm my team you're my accountability team we're gonna make this happen we're gonna manifest it tonight's the start of it it's good move. five years three to five i'm gonna have a youtube vlog backstage at shark tank and we're gonna we did it now it's not just about me it's about you too we're doing this together I've invested in quite a few brands. You might not know this, but a lot of the little deals I've been doing, and I try and like tell you like I'm an investor, but for example, Andy Swim, like part of my deal with Andy Swim and creating this, the collection, which I'm obsessed with. It's the best thing on the planet. They are the comfiest, most chic suits. I got like a tiny, weeny, teeny little chunk of equity in the business too, which again is super motivating. It means that like I'm part of that brand forever. Um, and I think that if you are in this business and if you are influencer, content creator, or just business mind, 
minded and you want to connect and work with brands like offer sweat which means you basically don't get paid but you get like chunks of the business okay i gotta eat this let's go get ready i am ready for my saltaire event and i honestly obsessed with this outfit it's basically this like hat suit and look at my shoes they're like foxy cleopatra from austin powers but yeah this fit is can you kind of see ah it's like flared and then these glasses are giving kind of retro vibes. Yes, the booty's popping. Ooh, ooh. Now off to the Solterra event. and figuring it out day by day. Um, it also reminded me, when you accept an award like this, you remember the responsibility you have to use your platform. 12 years ago, I started an Instagram account not knowing what it could lead to. Um, and today I have around 8 million followers. Every day I check in on my community and I try and find ways that I can support them, help them through what they're going through. And my mission ever since has been trying to tell people that you are and the day I changed from trying to change myself to fit their standards and instead tried to change the industry, my whole life changed. I started to accept myself and from acceptance grows embracing, grows love and honoring my body for all its capabilities and abilities, not just its size. And so I stand here today having used that pain or that struggle and turning it into a purpose, which I hope resonates because we have all been through something that I know we can use to help inspire others. So one of my biggest achievements, Michael, was similar to yours. I had someone reach out when I found out I was pregnant and say, I'm not able to be pregnant. I'm scared and I'm starting to look at myself and not feel good enough. So I decided to go on my Instagram, which for a lot of people can seem a shallow place. And I reached out to my community and I said, how many of you are struggling with infertility? How can I support you? And I decided to use my pregnancy announcement, a nice check I got off a pregnancy test company. And instead I donated it to two of my followers. That $20,000 to them enabled them to literally bring children into this world. Wow. So. And there's a lot of things that we might do in the fashion industry or, the, or this world that can seem shallow and purposeless, but you can truly change mm -hmm. it into purpose. And I believe each and every one of us is here to do just that. So thank you so much for this. Uh, Andrew Graham, a couple more. Well, thank you all again for joining us. Thank you to all of our honorees and business leaders that joined us today. So, me and Iman have gone on a road trip to VidCon to see the Dabba team! Yeah. Woo! We're here, we're all at VidCon and we've already had too much fun. We've bonded over milk, drinking milk with everything. Guys, Iska <laughs> drinks milk with everything. Why not? Is that wrong or is that right? That's it's right, it's absolutely right. Plus, I do milk first, then cereal. Oh no! Yeah, crunchy cereal all the way. I will no, literally, it will take no, me like no. 30 minutes to eat a bowl of cereal because I will do milk first and then I'll add like four cinnamon toast crunch, eat the four really quick and then add more. Okay, turn this off, please. <laughs> this is so wrong. It's so wrong, but so right. So yeah, Iman hasn't been to VidCon before. No, I've never been So we're going to do like a quick 360 of what's going on. There's a lot going on. It's going to be fun. Um, and then we're going to go to the creator area at the Regency. But yeah, we got our passes and let's go. I feel like we have a full on entourage. Okay, there's the panels going on over there. Oh, is that a snack place? I see snacks. I see M&Ms. How cool is this? It's Mario Kart. What do you have? A Chucky doll? <laughs> oh my gosh. I feature him in a, in a lot of my videos, so I, I, I'm carrying him here with me today. I thought he was real for a second. Oh yeah, you better be careful. <laughs> you better be careful. It's a fake Uber. What is this? It's like a Batmobile. So I've driven a Lamborghini accidentally when I was 17 because I'm an amazing girlfriend and I bought my boyfriend at the time one of those track days to drive a Lamborghini and he couldn't make it. So I did it and I literally passed my test six weeks before and I was so nervous. But as soon as I got in that car, I was like, mm, oh, I like this. So let's get in. Wow. 
we've just made it to the YouTube lounge. It's the YouTube creators lounge. It's so beautiful here. It's so beautiful. It's so fun. Everyone's just in the happiest mood today. So let's go. We're gonna find some food. Can't beat some free food. We gotta eat. When we're and here, find we some eat. milk. Look! We have made it to the Instagram lounge. So I don't know how that's gonna work. So I've decided because I'll never decide a phrase for myself I'm gonna make one for Philip and literally at the beginning of every story. He says so boom I'm gonna make a so boom t-shirt. So I know what Vale is making So boom, so boom. Da -da -da. We found it. Woo! So, so boom, boom. because I don't know everyone's happy it's positive it's not serious we got some really cool merch you know my little one is just gonna lose his mind when he sees the Ninja Turtle and so now we're just on the way to LAX I'll check in and I'll see if we can get some in and out I had a great life decision got in and out at the moment we're arriving at 5 40 and my flight leaves at 6 45. the airport it was less than an hour to spare but i guess i got lucky and they let me check in and they let me check my bag 55 minutes this has been such a good trip i can't believe that i got to do so many different things got to see and hang out with so many people i was only here two nights and three days so i've really packed everything into these trips and now i'm excited to get home hopefully we'll land it says 11 36 by the time i get home i'm gonna sleep and then tomorrow i'm just gonna spend all day with Philip and the boo-boo. Philip actually has a birthday party, so he's going to be leaving me and we're going to have a mommy Sunday. Cannot wait. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.